Welcome to Thursday in the fifth week in Ordinary Time, year one. Let's read the first reading, which comes from the book of Genesis, chapter 2, verses 18 to 25. The Lord God said, It is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him a helpmate. So, from the soil, the Lord God fashioned all the wild beasts and all the birds of heaven. These he brought to the man to see what he would call them. Each one was to bear the name the man would give it. The man gave names to all the cattle, all the birds of heaven, and all the wild beasts. But no helpmate suitable for man was found for him. So the Lord God made the man fall into a deep sleep. And while he slept, he took one of his ribs and enclosed it in flesh. The Lord God built the rib he had taken from the man into a woman and brought her to the man. The man exclaimed, This at last is bone from my bones and flesh from my flesh. This is to be called woman. For this was taken from man. This is why a man leaves his father and mother and joins himself to his wife and they become one body. Now both of them were naked, the man and his wife, but they felt no shame in front of each other. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And I mean that. Thanks be to God. And especially here in England, the Church of England Synod has been meeting and they've been discussing same-sex marriage blessings. It's the slippery slope that leads to same-sex marriages in churches. Many denominations already allow this. The Church of England hasn't reached that point yet. The decisions that any church makes in synod or in council or however you want to call it is never to be based on a simple majority vote. We must consider God in our decision making and to consider God in our decision making we must reflect upon the words of the Bible. I ask a question in a minute, but I'm going to wait and I'm going to ask us to reflect upon this wonderful passage. What must it have been like for Adam to look around and see animal kingdom yet there was not a help mate suitable for him now in this translation taken from the missile it uses the word help mate but my understanding is that a more accurate version of that word is help meet and meet is an old English word for fitting or suitable 
to no help fitting or suitable or comfortable to Adam could be found. And therefore God put Adam into a deep sleep. He took a rib. Isn't it interesting that when Adam woke up, he instinctively knew that a rib had been taken from his side. And this creation of such beauty, such magnificence, such wholesomeness, and such unity with himself was indeed bone of his bones and flesh of his flesh. When I went for my first operation last year, when I was in the recovery room, of course I was, had no idea what was going on, and as I woke up, I was preaching the gospel with my hand in the air. And all I could see were pairs of eyes around me. I had no idea who they were or what they were. Of course, they were the doctors, the nurses, surgeons, and anesthetists looking to see, wait for me to come around and become cognizant. And I had no pain. I had no understanding of my environment. All I knew was that I began to realize I was preaching the gospel to these people. I don't quite know what they made of it. Let's hope that some of them were impacted with my words. It wasn't something I planned to do. And so with Adam, instinctively, he knew that this is bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh, even though he had not been conscious while God took that bone from him. And let's not consider this just as myth. You know, the first and second creation accounts really do not conflict with each other. Just as a filmmaker will have different angles and highlight different aspects of the same story, so Genesis beautifully weaves the creation accounts. And in the days to come, we'll see the tragic fall of mankind. Indeed, we need to get back to the garden, but we can only do it through the second Adam, our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us. This is not just good news. This is great news. It's the greatest news the world has ever heard, and goodness, we need good news today. The people of this world need good news today. So this is a reflection on Genesis chapter 2, verse 18 to 25. Thursday in the fifth week of ordinary time in the Catholic lectionary. So let's keep reading, praying, going to the Eucharist, surrender our lives to God, and giving him praise and worship and honour for all that he has done, all that he is doing in our lives, in our hearts, in our families, and all that he will do in the future. Amen. This is Johnny Ruffle. God bless you.